poppin' YouTube, it's your boy JD coming at you with another review and I got yet another banger, yet another high heat release. This time it's desert hot. We're talking about the Air Max 90 Off-White in this desert ochre colorway. So before we get more into the shoe, I just wanna say what's up to my subscribers. As I said in my last video, I just moved into a brand new flat, so I'm just still trying to figure out my setup for videos. Uh, what do you guys think of this setup right here? Just me kind of chilling next to some of my sneakers here. Uh, if you guys like this setup, let me know down below. So how did I get these sneakers? Once again, guys, the raffle gods blessed your boy and I was able to win a raffle. I know I get a lot of comments sometimes asking how do I keep winning so many raffles. Uh, I could do an entire video about these guys. If you guys want to see the JD guide to winning raffles, let me know down in the comments and I will drop that video one day. So this sneaker released alongside that black Air Max 90, which to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of just because it kind of looks like a GR pair to me. It's just black and white. And compared to that one, this one is just so much nicer in my opinion. As Virgil said so himself on his, I believe his Instagram, he said that these would be the last to drop from basically that whole Nike Off-White, the 10 collection. I think he has some more um, newer silhouettes coming in the future, uh, but as far as that, the 10, this is basically the last of it. So of course, a lot of people wanted this shoe. My thoughts on this, so outside of the original 10, I gotta say, after having these in hand, looking at it, this is probably the best of the rest, let's say. This this colorway is such a banger. Like when, when have we ever seen these two colors on a shoe? So you got this, they call it a desert, but I guess it's more like a khaki color. And then the swoosh detailing is done in this salmon color, I would say. It's like a pinkish orange. And I, I've never seen these colors on a shoe. It just looks super sick. Definitely kind of hard to style, like I mean, I don't know what kind of outfit to wear with these. It's always tough to style, uh, you know, tan, beige kind of shoes. So I don't know how I'm actually gonna rock these. The quality on this shoe is just super nice. So it has this suede paneling basically all around the shoe, the lateral and medial side, as well as on the heel of the shoe. And it just feels like a really nice quality suede. So as with the rest of the collection, uh, this sneaker also is made to look deconstructed, kind of inside out. You have this absolutely sick exposed stitching all over the shoe. I especially love the stitching around the swoosh area in that salmon color. Also, all the other shoes, of course, have that signature patented off-white stamp on the medial side. But for some reason, the stamp just looks way better when put on these colors. I don't know what to say about it, but like I have a bunch of other off-whites and to me normally that that stamp was really not a big deal. It was just like kind of part of the shoe, but it just for some reason looks really nice on, on these colors. Of course you got that zip tie this time done in that baby blue color as with all the recent off-white releases. And this time the little, um, I guess, tab here is done in like a turquoise, like a dark turquoise which is kind of unusual, but it fits the aesthetic of the shoe quite well. The one thing I never really understood with these off-white sneakers is why do they have these tags on it that tell me that it's made in China three different times in three different languages? I mean, I kind of get it. I know Nike makes their shoes in China, but um, I mean, I don't think it needed this. It definitely didn't need this. I don't need to know three times that it's made in China. I get it. The shoes also come in a pair of these uh, salmon laces. And matter of fact, I'm gonna try them on right now and give you guys a look. And bam, there you go. What do you guys think? How does it look with the salmon laces? In my opinion, Virgil, you killed it. You did it again. I don't know how you even thought of putting these colors together, beige and salmon but it just looks so sick. And I think, I think personally the shoe looks way nicer with the orange laces. What do you guys think? You guys think, would you guys stick with the uh, beige laces or would you go with that orange look? So as much as I really like this pair, I still don't know if it's as good as the OGs, which I do have uh, right here. The OG uh, Air Max 90 Off-White. Um, I'm typically not a big fan of, you know, icy blue type of outsoles on sneakers, but I don't think I've ever seen an icy blue sneaker look better on a sneaker than this one right here. This, this just looks super nice, man. I love that. I love that, uh, that, that outsole and just how clean the shoe looks. 
and I love the way it's aging too. Like, I mean, I do wear this, uh, I wouldn't say like super often because I don't want to beat the hell out of it. Like I want to keep this for many years. So I maybe wear this like once a month, I would say, and it's in very good condition and it, it's just looking really nice. And um, I, I would say I still like this pair better than this one. So sizing wise, go true to size. It'll fit you perfectly. I had no problems fitting into the shoe in my true size. So there you have it guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more, it really helps out the channel. I love all your support guys, I love all the comments you guys leave. Uh, on feet coming right now, peace.